Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for x as well as find the missing measure of an angle uh, when we have complementary angles. Sorry, I was getting a little mixed up here. Now you can see that I haven't labeled anything here, so I'm just going to kind of use an arc and show what they represent, what the angle measure is going to be. Um, but the one important thing I want to be able to do is, you know, find the measure of x, and that will help us be able to identify what is going to be the measure of each angle. Now you can notice in each one of these we have this little box, and that is going to be telling us that we have an angle that is 90 degrees. And remember that when we have two angles that add up to 90 degrees, we call those two angles complementary. So for instance, if I had you know, an angle x plus an angle y, and they equaled 90 degrees, then we could say x and y are complementary. Okay. So if you look at, you know, in this example here, we have an angle, we have a right angle. That means this large angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, using the angle addition, I know that x plus 53 is equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, what value of x is going to make this complementary? So all I really need to do is set up an equation, x plus 53 degrees is going to equal 90 degrees. Well now, all I need to do is solve for x to find my missing measure. So I subtract 53 degrees on both sides, and I have x is going to equal, let's see, that's going to be 37 degrees. So rather than saying like measure of angle, blah, 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 I'm just going to say that angle measure is 37 degrees. Okay. Um, over in the next one here, you can see you know, kind of the similar thing, but now we just have like another couple expressions. Um, so now we don't know the measure of either of the angles, but I do know again that these two angles add up to make a 90 degree angle. Therefore, they are submarine for a given value of x. We just need to figure out what that value of x is. So therefore, I will say that 2x plus 4x is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, I get 6x is equal to 90 degrees. Divide by 6, divide by 6. And here, I am going to get x equals 10, 13. No, not 13. 15. There you go, 15 degrees. Put them. Um, so therefore, if x equals 15 degrees, that means that must be 30 degrees. And 15 degrees times 4 is going to be 60 degrees. And again, we can just double check here. Does 60 plus 30 add up to give us 90? Yes, it does. So therefore, we found x as well as the measure of each angle. Now, for these next two, um, it's the exact same type of problem. I just wanted to include some ones from figures because I see that students usually can kind of get a basic of understanding, you know, adding them to, adding, setting them equal to 90. But once we get in figures, they kind of forget a lot of things. So here, um, we have a 90 degree angle. And actually, I probably should have included another one of 90 degree angles. And let's even make this one a 90 degree angles. Um, just to make sure we kind of go through, because we don't really know anything, any other information on this. But if we have three 90 degree angles and we have a quadrilateral, we know that my other angle must be also be 90 degrees, right? And you guys can just kind of think about that. You know, if all of these are 90 degrees, and there's a lot of different ways, ways we could prove that. But just kind of using your intuition here, we could be able to assume here that that's going to be 90 degrees. Therefore, these two angles are complementary. So therefore, I can set up another equation, 2x plus 5x plus 6 equals 90 degrees. 2x plus 5x is 7x plus 6 equals 90 degrees, minus 6, minus 6. 7x is going to equal 84, um, 10, 11, 12. So therefore, divide by 7, x equals 12. So therefore, if x equals 12, um, let's go ahead and find the measure of each one of these angles. So 5 times 12 is going to be 60 plus 6 is 66 degrees. And then 2 times 12 is 24 degrees. So does 66 plus 24 equal to 90? 80? Yes, it does. Very good. Uh, the exact same thing over here. Here's another angle. It doesn't tell us what this angle is. But we do know on the other side here, we have a 90 degree angle. And since this makes a straight angle, we can show that then this has to be 90 degrees as well. Um, so again, since they are, again, we have 90 degrees that's being split up. So therefore, those two angles are complementary for given values of x. So to find those out, I'm just going to say 2x plus 2 plus x plus 1 equals 90 degrees. A lot of times when we have something like this, uh, what we do is rearrange them so the variables are together. So I could say 2x plus x plus 2 plus 1 equals 90 degrees. Therefore, I obtain 3x uh, plus 3 equals 90. 
minus 3 minus 3, 3x equals 87. Now, 3 would have gone into 90 30 times. Um, so therefore, uh, it goes into 87. Looks like it would be 29 times. So divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 29. So now, to find the missing measure of that, I would have 2 times 29 plus 2. So 2 times 29 is going to be 58, plus 2 is 60. And here I'm going to have 29 degrees plus 1, which is 30 degrees. And obviously you can say 30 plus 60 is equal to 90. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for x, as well as your missing angle, using complementary angles. Thanks.